Hi, early learners. Let's make an alphabet potion today. First, let's put in our letters. We'll say the letter name and the letter sound. A. A. E. B. C. K. D. D. E. E. F. G. G. H. I. I. J. J. K. K. L. O. M. Mm. N. Mm. O. A. P. Q. Q. R. O. S. T, T, U, A, V, mm, W, mm, X, X, Y, mm, Z, Let's give our letters a stir. But we're not done. We need to add some more. Let's say the sounds in this word. B. A. T. Bat. K. A. B own bone I'd spider uh, in pumpkin. And e candy B broom ow. House. We added all of our words and we segmented the phonemes. Now let's say the magic spell and see what happens with our potion. Stir the letters, mix them weak. Add a sprinkle of phoneme sweet. With each swirl, stories grow, a world of fun for you to know. So grab a book, let's take flight, with words as our wings will soar tonight. Count to three. One, two, three. Wow! 
our potion turned into a book. When we know our letters and our sounds, then we can learn to read books. This book is called Room on the Broom. Hey, those words rhyme. Room, broom, room, broom. They sound the same. They rhyme. Let's read The Room on the Broom by Julia Donaldson. Open. Room on the Broom. There's a witch and a cat and a broom. I wonder what's going to happen in this book. The witch had a cat and a hat that was black and long ginger hair in a braid down her back. How the cat purred and how the witch grinned as they sat on their broomstick and flew through the wind. But how the witch wailed and how the cat spat when the wind blew so wildly it blew off the hat. Oh no, the witch's hat blew off. Do you hear all those words that rhyme? Black, back, spat, hat. Words that rhyme sound the same at the end. Let's see what happens to the witch's hat. Down, cried the witch, and they flew to the ground. They searched for the hat, but no hat could be found. They can't find the witch's hat. Then out of the bushes, on thundering paws, there bounded a dog with the hat in his jaws. The dog is holding the hat in his mouth, in his jaws. Paws, jaws, that rhymes. He dropped it politely, then eagerly said, as the witch pulled the hat firmly down on her head, I am a dog as keen as can be. Is there room on the broom for a dog like me? Yes, cried the witch, and the dog clambered on. The witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. Now there's a cat and a witch and a dog on the broom. Over the fields and the forest they flew. The dog wagged his tail and the stormy wind blew. The witch laughed out loud and held on to her hat, but away blew the bow from her braid just like that. Oh no, the witch's bow flew off of her braid. I wonder where it will go. Bow, go, that rhymes. Down cried the witch and they flew to the ground. They searched for the bow, but no bow could be found. Then out from a tree with an ear splitting shriek, there flapped a green bird with the bow in her beak. She dropped it politely and bent her head low and said as the witch tied her braid in the bow, I am a bird as green as can be. Is there room on the broom for a bird like me? Yes, cried the witch. So the bird fluttered on. The witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. Now there's a witch, a cat, a dog, and a bird on the broom. Is there room for more? Hmm, what's going to happen next? Over the reeds and the rivers they flew, the bird shrieked with glee and the stormy wind blew. They shot through the sky to the back of beyond. The witch clutched her bow, but let go of her wand. The witch dropped 
her wand. I have a star wand too. Oh no. Down cried the witch and they flew to the ground. They searched for the wand, but no wand could be found. Ground, found. Those were rhymes. Then all of a sudden, from out of a pond, leaped a dripping wet frog with a dripping wet wand. He dropped it politely, then said with a croak, as the witch dried the wand on a fold of her cloak, I am a frog as clean as can be. Is there room on the broom for a frog like me? Yes, said the witch. So the frog bounded on. Up, up, up. The witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. Over the moors and the mountains they flew. The frog jumped for joy and what's going to happen? There's a witch and a frog and a bird and a cat and a dog. One, two, three, four, five on the broom. Oh no! The broom snapped in two. Down fell the cat and the dog and the frog. Down they went tumbling into a bog. The witch's half broomstick flew into a cloud and the witch heard a roar that was scary and loud. I am a dragon as mean as can be, and which with french fries taste delicious to me. No, cried the witch, flying higher and higher. The dragon flew after her, breathing out fire. Help, cried the witch, flying down to the ground. She looked all around, but no help could be found. The dragon drew near with a glint in his eyes and said, Just this once I'll have wit without fries. <gasps> the dragon wants to eat the witch. Oh no, how does the witch look? Scared. But just as he planned to begin on his feast, from out of a ditch rose a horrible beast. It was tall, dark, and sticky, and feathered and furred. It had four frightful heads, it had wings like a bird, and its terrible voice when it started to speak was a yowl and a growl and a croak and a shriek. It dripped and it squelched, it strode from the ditch, and it said to the dragon, Buzz off, that's my witch. Is this a horrible beast? Do you see anything that looks familiar? How does the dragon look? Now the dragon is scared. The dragon drew back and he started to shake. I'm sorry, he spluttered. I made a mistake. It's nice to have met you, but now I must fly. And he spread out his wings and was off through the sky. Then down flew the bird and down jumped the frog, down climbed the cat and phew, said the dog. And thank you, oh, thank you, the grateful witch cried. Without you, I'd be in that dragon's inside. Now, how does everybody look? Happy. All of the animals that the witch helped, helped her. It's nice to help other people. And there goes the dragon flying away. Then she filled up her cauldron and said with a grin, Find something, everyone, throw something in. So the frog found a lily and the cat found a cone. The bird found a twig and the dog found a bone. They threw them all in and the witch stirred them well. And while she was stirring, she muttered a spell. Iggity, ziggity, zaggity, zoom. Then out rose. She made a potion and she said a magic spell. 
what's going to come out of her cauldron. Ziggity, ziggity, zaggity, zoom. A truly magnificent broom with seats for the witch and the cat and the dog and a nest for the bird and a pool for the frog. Yes, cried the witch, and they all clambered on. The witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. Wow, what an amazing broom. Chairs and a nest and a little bath for the frog. Everyone has a seat just for them. The end. Thank you for playing with me today. It was fun making a magic potion and saying our special spell and reading this story with you. Please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you at my next learning video. Happy Halloween!